You want that pillow under your knee? That would be great, yeah. Yeah, I think so. We have, of course, we have the big peanut pillow too, if you want that at some point. That's a pretty good feel. Yeah, it's much better. better. Okay. Would you give these now zero to ten? Um, say five. They're not that bad. Like I can handle it. And they just got to be like a five. Like like when did they start get stronger? Um, you think about half hour ago. Or yeah, so? half hour ago. They were very very mild at first. Yeah, at first yeah. Exactly. I could barely feel them. Now I can. So maybe they were like a two or three to start yeah, with. Yeah. Okay. You're supposed to put numbers down. Okay. Stay on top of them, they feel like you're staying relaxed and just kind of breathing through them. But yeah, I think that's one right there. Oh, yeah, yep, yep. yeah, that's coming good. I'm picking them up. Yeah. Okay, they feel a little stronger. Oh, it's getting stronger, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely the strongest one. Just keep creeping up. giving the boys baths right now. They didn't want to eat dinner. Well, they know something's up. <laughs> yeah, kids are really like, perceptive, they know. <laughs> Where's mom? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's not here. Yeah. So your eight-year-old knows that you're... Yeah, he knows. You're not coming home until you bring a baby yeah. sister home, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she'll grow up with lots of daddies to protect her. Yeah. so much pain and um you know the benefits of being at the hospital is having the help like the nurses and stuff they've been so wonderful and i'm just so nervous to not have that the nurse just gave me some pain medication i like wore off while i was sleeping and i'm feeling every single ache
Good morning. Good morning. So we are going home today. So it's 6.30 a.m. and um, we are leaving today. I am really happy about that. Um, I'm in a lot of pain. I just finished changing her. She pooped. She was very uncomfortable. And she was crying. I just changed her diaper and now I'm feeding her. I tried to feed her um, like a few minutes ago. She did one side, one breast, and she then she fell asleep. She didn't want to do the other side. And I had to ask the nurse to come in and put her in the um, bassinet because I couldn't even get up. I was in so much pain. She just gave me some medication, but I don't, it's not really kicking in yet. I'm really hungry. The um, cafeteria or the dining services doesn't open till like seven. So I have to wait and um, place my breakfast order. Um, I'm gonna get myself together. I showered last night. I'm not gonna shower again until I get home. And um, my father is picking me up from the hospital. David's gonna stay home with the kids and wait for me to come home. Um, my dad's gonna just come get me. So an hour ago, I could barely get out of that bed. <laughs> and now, um, since she gave me my medication, I don't feel any pain at all. So <clears throat> I'm trying to get myself together. I just finished feeding the baby, changing the baby. And I put her back in her bassinet. Um, I'm not going to shower again. I showered last night. I'm going to just wait till I get home. I'm just going to brush my teeth, wash my face, do my hair. Um, I'll probably just stay in my robe because I'm going to be like in the bed with the baby and feeding her. And like as my like when my dad gets like closer because he's driving all the way from um, Massachusetts, so it's going to take him a while. So when he gets, like, closer, I'll get dressed. I don't want to be, like, all dressed and ready to go and be, like, sitting in the bed feeding her. So I'm just going to stay in this robe probably for a little while and probably just, like, put my um, sweatpants on or something. Um... It's really hot in here. Like I keep getting, like I'm cold and I'm hot, then I'm cold and I'm hot. Right now I'm hot, so I just put the AC on. But yeah, I'm gonna like try to get myself together now that I'm like not feeling so much pain. It was like hurting really bad, right? Like all over my stomach <clears throat> and my back. And it's so hard to get out of these beds. Like I'm like trying to pull myself up. Um, I feel like my voice is like going away. I don't know. It's, <clears throat> it's so difficult to speak. Um, yeah, but let me get myself together before she wakes up again. Oh, and I just ordered breakfast. So that should be here soon. I'm starving. Taking all the supplies that they give me, and postpartum supplies, and taking them home with me. And I like some mesh underwear, some wipes.
brushed my teeth, washed my face, changed, used the bathroom. Um, changed her diaper again. And now I'm feeding her again. Oh, I put in my breakfast order. That should be coming soon. Um, I'm going to eat and then I'm going to pack up her stuff. So they gave her diapers and wipes and stuff. I'm going to take that home. And then I have my stuff packed up. I'm going to clean up the room, get rid of any trash. And um, just wait until I think I'm going to get checked by the doctor one more time. And I think the pediatrician's going to come in and check her one more time and make sure that we're all good to go. And then once we get the discharge papers, we can head on out and go home. I'm really excited. I miss the kids so much. This is the longest I've been apart from them. And I never, you know, we're never apart from each other. But um, they're doing really well. I was so worried that you know, they would be crying in the middle of the night or like during in the morning when they didn't see me. David was worried about that too, but he said they're doing so well. Like, I think it's because he's been bringing them here so they know now like where mommy is. If he wasn't coming to visit, they'd probably be so confused. Like, okay, what's going on? Where's mom? But since they've been seeing me every every day, I think that's what's making it a little easier because they know like, okay, we just saw mommy at the hospital with the baby. So they know they're like aware, like where I'm at. So I think it's really good that he's been coming to visit us. Um, but yeah, I miss them so much. And I just can't wait to be home with them. And I can't wait to bring baby home for the first time ever. This is just really crazy. I can't believe this. I cannot believe we have four children now. It just seems so unreal. Such a blessing. She's drinking milk again, and I'm just waiting for my food, which still hasn't arrived. I'm really hungry, and I just feel so hot in this room. I have the temperature all the way down to like the lowest temperature, but it still feels so hot in here. Let me get this light on. <laughs> And I think it's because I haven't been outside in so many days. And my body doesn't like that. My body does not like to be indoors. For so oh my God. I don't know if you heard that. She's pooping. My body doesn't like to be stuck indoors without sunlight or air for so many days. So I have the biggest pounding headache. She just pooped, I heard it. And I literally just changed her. It's okay though. 
So I'm gonna change her again and then feed her again before my food gets here. Got in here. Some diapers. Little tiny diapers. So the hospital provides you with so much things when you're staying with them. You don't have to use your stuff until you get home, which is pretty good. You know. Okay. I'm just gonna use this so I don't get any poop on the bed. I'm gonna change her really, really fast because she's hungry. The wipes are too cold and she doesn't like that feeling. I'm so sorry. Okay. Almost done. I just wanted to calm her down, but I'm going to wash my hands, and then I'm going to feed her. Hi. She's probably going to cry when I put her back down, but I just wanted to calm her down. I'm going to wash my hands. 
throw this out, wash my hands, and then I'm going to feed you. So let me get her back in the bassinet while I wash my hands. got my breakfast i waited an hour and a half and i'm so hungry so i'm about to put her down in her bassinet and i'm finally gonna eat some breakfast hopefully it'll make this headache go away banana, yogurt, and some French toast, bacon, and home fries. change your diaper <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> sleepy head you sleepy head Oh, cute. 